Liverpool. Congratulations! Eurovision 2023. The eyes of the world will be on Liverpool. The buzz is going to be like amazing for the city. It's going to be amazing, yeah. Can't wait. Just hope we get tickets. It's amazing. I'm so happy it's in Liverpool. I think it's amazing. And it's going to be here with me. 11,000 will be watching here at the arena and more than 160 million on TV. We've got a brilliant track record of delivering really mega large scale events. You know, Liverpool is the most welcoming, the most inclusive place. You know, it's somewhere where everybody feels that they can just really be themselves. It'll bring in tens of thousands of tourists and is worth tens of millions of pounds to the local economy. We know that this will fill our hotels, fill our restaurants, and not just for that week in May, but for the effect of this continues long after Eurovision leaves town. You know, in seven months, six, seven months' time, this arena will be absolutely full, won't it? It'll be full of sparkle and joy and music and people coming together. But let's not forget the reason Liverpool's been chosen. It's only being held here because the conflict means it can't be held in Ukraine. We're very pleased that next year's Eurovision Song Contest will take place in Liverpool. Although I've never been there, performing where the Beatles themselves started will be so inspiring. But Ukrainian culture and heritage must be at the heart of the celebrations. After all, it is Ukraine's party here in Liverpool's house. So what can we expect? This would have been held in Ukraine if they possibly could have done. So it's our job to make sure that their dreams and ambitions are held in our hands. But our creative programme kind of picks up on some of the Ukrainian contemporary culture, some of the historical culture, and giving it a real Scouse twist. And now the hard work begins with just seven months to pull off the party of Liverpool's life. Katie Waldman, BBC Northwest Tonight, Liverpool.